Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to mess with the text size and if you want to make one letter bigger than all the others. I'm going to be showing you how to do all that in this tutorial. So stick around and you'll figure it out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to file. New. We're going to change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it 1280 by 720 and I'm going to name it font slash text. And I'm going to hit create. Now we have our canvas. I'm going to go over to my toolbar on the left. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, you can go back and watch my other tutorials on the basics of Photopea. I have an updated version, an old version. You can watch whatever you want. We're just going to go over to the text tool. Click it. Then left click anywhere on your canvas. And it's loading right now. You can see it's pretty small. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the size. There's two ways you can do this. You can either hit the drop down menu and you can scale it up like this, but it only goes up to 300. So it won't work in all situations, but if you want to manually do it, click in the box and you can type 400. Hit enter. There you go. Now we're going to type whatever you want. I'm going to type Canvas. It's a little too big, so I'm going to highlight it by left clicking on the left side, and dragging, or just hit control A. And you can see it's got a box around it. Now you can change it and it'll change the size. I'm just going to drop it down to 40 and hit the confirm, which is the check mark. I'm going to move it to the center. So let's say I want to have the C bigger than the rest. What I'm going to do, I'm sure there's probably an easier way, but this is the way I do it. I'm just going to remove that C, hit the check mark. I'm going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this layer by right clicking on it, hitting duplicate layer. Now, if I use my move tool, I can move it around and there's two of it. So I'm just going to highlight it again with the text tool, type C. Now you can see we got the C and if I, I can put it right next to it like it was before, I'm going to highlight that C. And we can make the font 400. No, we can do 500. Hit the check mark. You can see, like, you know, it's kind of cool actually. Like, you could do something pretty cool with this. Like, it's kind of a cool logo, honestly. I might make that money logo. I don't know. Either way, this is how you do it. So you can see there's one bigger than the rest. So that's basically how you do that. It's really easy. Now we're going to move on to if you want to change the font, you just go over to your text tool and highlight it. Use my mouse. I'm going to make the C something different. We're going to go with something that makes it like stand out. I don't really, I'm going to go with E D O. I don't know. Edo, Edo, whatever you want to say. Actually, that's trash. We're not doing that. Find one that works. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. But electrolyze looks like that. So you can have like one different than the rest, like font wise and size wise as well. And that means we can go over to the color, change it to red. I click double click on the layer, go into color overlay, making it red. So that's just a quick little tutorial on how to make the sizes different. Uh, I hope this helped you. I'll see you in the next one.